filtering data. Filters can be used to narrow down the data in your worksheet and hide parts of it from view. While it may sound a little like grouping, filtering is different in the way that it allows you to qualify and display only the data that interests you. For example, you could filter a list of survey participants to view only those who are between the ages of 25 and 34. You could also filter an inventory of paint colors to view anything that contains the word blue, such as bluebell or robin's egg blue. In this lesson, you will learn how to filter the data in your worksheet to display only the information you need. Filters can be applied in many different ways to improve the performance of your worksheet. You can filter text, dates and numbers. You can even use more than one filter to further narrow down your results. To filter data. In this example, we will filter the contents of an equipment log at a technology company. We will display only the laptops and projectors that are available for checkout. 1. Begin with a worksheet that identifies each column using a header row. 2. Select the data tab and locate the sort and filter group. 3. Click the filter command. 4. Drop down arrows will appear in the header of each column. 5. Click the drop down arrow for the column you would like to filter. In this example, we will filter the type column to view only certain types of equipment. 6. The filter menu appears. 7. Uncheck the boxes next to the data you don't want to view. You can uncheck the box next to select all to quickly uncheck all. 8. Check the boxes next to the data you do want to view. In this example, we will check laptop to view only those types of equipment. 9. Click OK. All other data will be filtered or temporarily hidden. Only laptops will be visible. Filtering options can also be found on the Home tab, condensed into the Sort and Filter command. To add another filter. Filters are additive, meaning you can use as many as you need to narrow down your results. In this example, we will work with a spreadsheet that has already been filtered to display only laptops and projectors. Now we will display only laptops and projectors that were checked out during the month of August. 1. Click the drop down arrow where you would like to add a filter. In this example, we will add a filter to the checked out column to view information by date. 2. Uncheck the boxes next to the data you don't want to view. Check the boxes next to the data you do want to view. 3. Click OK. In addition to the original filter, the new filter will be applied. The worksheet will be narrowed down even further. To clear a filter. 1. Click the drop-down arrow in the column from which you want to clear the filter. 2. Choose Clear Filter From. 3. The filter will be cleared from the column. The data that was previously hidden will be on display once again. To instantly clear all filters from your worksheet, click the Filter command on the Data tab. Advanced Filtering To filter using search Searching for data is a convenient alternative to checking or unchecking data from the list. You can search for data that contains an exact phrase, number, or date, or a simple fragment. For example, Searching for the exact phrase ABC X10 laptop will display only ABC X10 laptops. Searching for the word ABC, however, will display ABC X10 laptops and any other ABC equipment including projectors, digital cameras and more. 1. From the Data tab, click the Filter command. 2. Click the drop-down arrow in the column you would like to filter. In this example, we will filter the Equipment Detail column to view only a specific brand. 3. Enter the data you would like to view in the search box. We will enter the word ABC to find all ABC brand equipment. The search results will appear automatically. 4. Check the boxes next to the data you want to display. We will display all the data that includes the brand name ABC. 5. Click OK. 
The worksheet will be filtered according to your search term. To use advanced text filters. Advanced text filters can be used to display more specific information such as cells that contain a certain number of characters or data that does not contain a word you specify. In this example, we will use advanced text filters to hide any equipment that is related to cameras, including digital cameras, camcorders, and more. 1. From the Data tab, click the Filter command. 2. Click the drop-down arrow in the column of text that you would like to filter. In this example, we will filter the Equipment Detail column to view only certain kinds of equipment. 3. Choose Text Filters to open the Advanced Filtering menu. 4. Choose a filter. In this example, we will choose Does not contain to view data that does not contain the text we specify. 5. The Custom Auto Filter dialog box appears. 6. Enter your text to the right of your filter. In this example, we will enter CAM to view data that does not contain those letters. That will exclude any equipment related to cameras such as digital cameras, cam coders, camera bags, and the Digicam printer. 7. Click OK. The data will be filtered according to the filter you choose and the text you specified. Use Advanced Date Filters Advanced date filters can be used to view information from a certain time period such as last year, next quarter, between two dates, and more. Microsoft Excel 2010 automatically knows your current date and time, making this tool very easy to use. In this example, we will use advanced date filters to view only the equipment that has been checked out this week. 1. From the Data tab, click the Filter command. 2. Click the drop-down arrow in the column of dates that you would like to filter. In this example, we will filter the checked out column to view only a certain range of dates. 3. Choose Date Filters to open the Advanced Filtering menu. 4. Click a filter. 5. The worksheet will be filtered according to the date filter you choose. If you're working along with the example file, your results will be different from the images above. If you want, you can change some of the dates so that the filter will give more results. To use advanced number filters. Advanced number filters allow you to manipulate number data in many different ways. For example, in a worksheet of exam grades, you could display the top and bottom numbers to view the highest and the lowest scores. In this example, we will display only certain kinds of equipment based on the range of ID numbers that have been assigned to them. 1. From the Data tab, click the Filter command. 2. Click the drop-down arrow in the column of numbers that you would like to filter. In this example, we will filter the ID number column to view only a certain range of IDs. 3. Choose number filters to open the Advanced Filtering menu. 4. Choose a filter. In this example, we will choose between to view ID numbers between the numbers we specify. 5. Enter a number to the right of each filter. In this example, we will view ID numbers greater than or equal to 3000, but less than or equal to 4000. That will display ID numbers in the 3000 to 4000 range. 6. Click OK. The data will be filtered according to the filter you chose and the numbers you specify. Cutting tables. Once you've entered information into a spreadsheet, you may want to format it. Formatting your spreadsheet can not only improve the look and feel of your spreadsheet, but it can also make it easier to use. In a previous lesson, we discussed many manual formatting options such as bold and italics. In this lesson, you will learn how to format as a table. To take advantage of the tools and predefined table styles available in Microsoft Excel 2010. Just like regular formatting, tables can help to organize your content and make it easier for you to locate the information you need. To use tables effectively, you'll need to know how to format information as a table, modify tables, and apply table styles. To format information as a table, 1. 
Select the cells you want to format as a table. In this example, an invoice. We will format the cells that contain the column headers and the order details. 2. Click the Format as Table command in the Styles group on the Home tab. 3. A list of predefined table styles will appear. Click a table style to select it. 4. A dialog box will appear, confirming the range of cells you've selected for your table. The cells will appear selected in the spreadsheet and the range will appear in the dialog box. 5. If necessary, change the range by selecting a new range of cells directly on your spreadsheet. 6. If your table has headers, check the box next to My table has headers. 7. Click OK. The data will be formatted as a table in the style that you chose. Tables include filtering by default. You can filter your data at any time using the drop-down arrows in the header. To convert a table back into normal cells, click the Convert to Range command in the Tools group. The Filters and the Design tab will then disappear, but the cells will retain their data and formatting. Find tables. To add rows or columns. 1. Select any cell in your table. The Design tab will appear on the ribbon. 2. From the Design tab, click the Resize Table command. 3. Directly on your spreadsheet, select the new range of cells you want your table to cover. You must select your original table cells as well. 4. Click OK. The new rows and or columns will be added to your table. To change the table style. 1. Select any cell in your table. The Design tab will appear. 2. Locate the Table Styles group. Click the More drop-down arrow to see all of the table styles. 3. Hover the mouse over the various styles to see a live preview. 4. Select the desired style. The table style will appear in your worksheet. To change the table style options. When using an Excel table, you can turn various options on or off to change its appearance. There are six options. Header row, total row, banded rows, first column, last column, and banded columns. 1. Select any cell in your table. The design tab will appear. 2. From the design tab, check or uncheck the desired options in the table style options group. Depending on the table style you're using, certain table style options may have a different effect. You may need to experiment to get the exact look you want.